I don't think this election campaign is going to be any different than any of the other campaigns that we've experienced in the, for as long as you can remember. Uh, individual candidates from all over the, the region are going to be making all kinds of promises and declaring all kinds of platforms that really have no detail and any substance to them. One of the things that you are going to hear promises about is this whole issue of communication how candidates are going to communicate with their constituents and they're going to keep in touch with their constituents. In many cases you're not going to hear any specifics. Uh, I don't want to really belabor this point but communication is something that you can't just allow to happen. You have to have a plan. In my particular case in Ward 5 I have a a number of things that are very specific, a number of strategies that are going to be used and and I think it's important that if someone is, is going to tell you that they're going to keep in touch and they're going to communicate, they have to tell you exactly how. Uh, f first of all, I'm going to make sure that we have two strong community action networks in operation in Ward 5. One in the Valley East section of Ward 5 and the other in Sudbury. I'm going to do what I can to make sure that there are enough volunteers to get involved with the, the CAN in each of those areas and make sure that I give them the support not only uh, by by being with them and, and helping them move forward but I'm also going to try to give them the financial support to do the projects that they need. I will also make every attempt possible to revise the neighborhood playground associations throughout Ward 5. This means that I'm going to help organize public meetings in each playground catchment area to see if we can find volunteers who want to uh, rejuvenate and re-energize the neighborhood playground. Neighborhood playground associations provide an excellent source of feedback for all councillors. I intend to hold special town hall meetings at least every three months. I want to hold four a year, uh, not just in in one particular part of the ward, but I'd like to hold it, uh, two of them in the valley and, and one of them in one or two of them in the suburb portion. And, and I want to invite local residents to come out to these town hall meetings and have a chance to talk to me face to face and express some of their concerns. I will continue to communicate with the residents of Ward 5 and indeed all of Valley East through the Valley East Facebook site, through the Valley East Today website which I publish and uh, and take advantage of social media and the internet to allow people to communicate one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, social media has really been getting a, a bad rap by a lot of critics. Social media has allowed people to communicate confidentially with individuals from all over the place and, and, and at least through the internet people from all over the uh, the region, all over Ward 5, are going to be able to uh, get hold of me and be able to communicate with me at their convenience. I will be continuing to host the weekly radio show at Laurentian University, the Learning Clinic. Uh, I, my whole intent with this radio show is to invite people to come on the air or to express their concerns so I can bring people on the air and we can talk about these details and, and talk about the principles that are underlying uh, uh, causes of these concerns. I intend to bring special guests uh, from City Council. Uh, this the, the Learning Clinic Meet the Candidates radio show is going to turn into the Learning Clinic Meet Your Counselor radio show. Uh, after the election. I will also use YouTube, very much like I'm doing now, to produce short informational uh, video explanations and, and take an education-based approach with my constituents to try and, and give them a better understanding of uh, what's behind some of the issues. So communication is important. If you have a candidate who's going to tell you that he or she is going to communicate with their constituents. Ask them how. Ask them what their plan of action is. It's not enough to say you're going to be engaged and in touch with the with the community. You have to have a plan and it should be a specific plan. 